Okay, I wanted to do a review of my phone hookup on my Husqvarna. This is a 2019 Husqvarna FE250. And I've got this, this Ram Mount Universal Quick Grip Phone Holder Standard Size uh, that I put on here. Um, so I've got that for holding my phone while I navigate. And what I use um, from a mounting perspective is underneath the, the Universal Quick Grip phone holder um, is this diamond diamond base with a one inch ball on it there. So that's the piece you see here that has to hook on the underside of the ram mount. Uh, and then it connects to this ram mount's double socket arm right here. It's the double socket, socket arm for one inch ball. It's the short two inch piece. And then it connects into the ram mount's motorcycle base one inch ball with the M8 screw hole. So that is actually replacing one of the bolts that goes into my, my handlebars are there. So you can see that's nice, it swivels nicely. You can just loosen this up. You can swivel the, uh, the phone holder however you, however you want it. I usually kind of keep it tucked down out of the way as much as possible. Like that. Just tighten it up. Um, one problem I had though, well, two problems. A couple of these little, these arms, these are the, this, this extends here for you know, variable length phones. And then these little arms on the side here, those also adjust up and down based on the width of your phone. Um, I had two of these break off. I don't know if it happened when I dumped my bike or when it happened. I don't really think I've dumped my bike where it would have done anything to the the panel, the up to the instrument panel area or anything up here on top of the handlebars. Um, but a couple of them broke off. It might have been from from the fact that uh, my phone holder is a little too big. So so I've been using this when I really liked it. Um, but what happened is I went from using uh, just a standard phone case. So for example, this is. And a standard phone case, this is an iPhone, iPhone 10, and it works perfectly on that. Um, but what happened is I decided I wanted a little more aggressive, rugged case um, to help absorb some of the shock, um, to be a little more dustproof, to be a little waterproof, and so I bought an OtterBox case uh, for my iPhone 10. Um, the OtterBox case, with the additional bulk of that, made it slightly too big for this standard size mount. So I have to really push hard to squeeze it in here. And it's just a pain. Um, every time I stop, if I, wa I wanna take a picture or something, I'm using Gaia GPS for my navigation. Sometimes I like to stop and take pictures because it adds it into your, into your route. And getting it out of the holder and back in was just, it was just problematic for me. So what I've done is I've ordered the, um, the larger size mount now. So this is the uh, the RAM. It's the quick grip phone holder for larger for for larger devices. R E M H U L P D four U. So I'm gonna put this one on, um, and then kind of show you uh, the difference. So let me show you what it's gonna look like when I try to put my my phone with the OtterBox in there. This is the uh, iPhone 10. And I bought this OtterBox Defender case because uh, it's a little more rugged case and, and it also has a lot of padding around it because one of the things you worry about uh, when riding a dirt bike is vibration um, and it kind of beating up the electronics. So this has good protection all the way around except for the one thing I don't like about it is there's, there's no covering for the speaker holes down here. So when I'm out on a dusty trail, um, they tend to, to fill with dust. So what I've been doing is just taking a cotton ball and kind of stuffing them in the holes there. But if we look at my phone with the standard size RAM mount phone holder, um, I'm trying to do this one hand so it's a little tricky, but it's really, really tight. So I, I can get it in most of the way, but it always fights me down at the one corner here. Okay, so it's in there now, and it's snug. I mean, that's not going anywhere. It's never budged when I've ridden. But getting it out is almost more of a pain than it is getting in. There we go, it's out. It's such a pain to get out that I had to put the other phone down so I could use both hands. But 
what I've done is I've ordered the the uh, extra large size of the ram mount here. I have yet to put in the little arms on it. So if you look at that one with my my iPhone Tim, um, the ladder box. Let's do it from the side so I can do it from one hand. There, that fits a lot better. So that should be a lot easier to get in and out. I just, I run the Gaia GPS application on my phone um, when we're out on the trails. And a lot of times I like to take it out and take pictures while I'm on the trail because it, it tags them and adds them to the route when you're doing route tracking in the Gaia GPS. So trying to get it out, you know, and, and I would have to take off my gloves to get it out of this smaller size one. Um, I should be able to just pop it out easily with it. This larger size mount and you know does face recognition, so I shouldn't have to take my gloves off and then can take pictures and pop it back in. So we're gonna swap this out and then uh, see how it looks. So right here I have both of the mounts side by side. Um, I'm taking this one off to put the larger size. This is the larger size one, so you can kind of see a size comparison between the two of them. Um, on the back of this is that piece. This was the. Uh, it's a two and seven sixteenth inch by one and five sixteenth diamond base with a one inch ball from round mounts. And that is what, is what goes on the back of here. That I put on here. And then that connects into that two inch double socket arm for ram mounts that I have um, where it connects up to where my handlebars are. So we're just gonna transfer that over and then we'll put the little sidearms here and adjust them so they fit nice and snug on my phone. You'll notice that um, I have the the nuts on the top and the screw on the bottom. I did it the opposite before, but what I found was that if you do it this way and I can put my phone in here and then I can adjust these to where I want them snug on my phone and then I can tighten it from underneath. If you do it the other way around and put the screw in here and put the nut underneath, um, and then want to adjust the arms with the phone in it. You can still do it with just a you know, small socket or something like that, but it's easier to have uh, the Phillips head screw right there accessible, and then you just adjust the arm, make it nice snug up against the phone, and then just tighten it down. Otherwise, while the phone's in here, you can't get, of course, to these connections. Okay, we've got it all mounted up. It's gotten dark outside now, so I turn my light on, but, See now, there's the unit. I did put those additional two support arms on it, so I've got six on there now. And they don't cover up the uh, the buttons on the side of the phone, which is nice. Looking at it from this side over here, it's got the, the two inch double jointed piece right here. That diamond plate right there. This is nice because you can adjust it however you want it. One thing I have noticed though is when I have this mounted here is I can't see my, my blinker light down there when I have my blinkers on. Anyway, so here it is. You just pop it in like that. And it fits nice and snug. There you have it.